All right, it now begins. The firstborn has arrived. Let's go up here and get Joel. We're gonna have some kind of a week. Oh, wait till you see this bunch. They are so much fun. You made it, how are you? I'm good, man, how are you? Good trip? Yeah, yeah. All right. I got it. We are here. Number one. Made it down in record time. Record time? What time did you leave today? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Were you ready to be here? I was definitely ready to be here. <laughs> All right. I was up at six, wide eyed, and bushy tail. Right, let's go see mama. All right. All right. The rest of the crew has arrived. Come on, Jamie Kate. I'm going to drive with you. <laughs> We're going to walk. It's fun. There's Julie, Josh, and little Jilly Beth. Jamie Kate is back there doing something really weird. I think I might have to help her. Nope, she did it. There comes Jamie Catherine. Hey, Jamie Catherine. Hey. <laughs> and we're waiting on Julie. There she comes. There comes Miss Jules. The baby of the family, or at least of ours. There she comes. And we'll catch up here with the coach. This is the crew. Look at that. That's one sport model right there. And J Mac, <laughs> 13 years old and only too cool for school. <laughs> Here comes the twins. There's the twins, Joan and, and the baby. And my puppy back. And heading in the back. Princess Jamie. And the coach. We're going to the hurricane. We love the hurricane. It's about a two minute walk from the campground. So this is, um, you know, just our diet plate that we're having here at the Hurricane. Just, you know, little simple things like this. Just, you know, tater tots with blue cheese and gosh only knows what else. Here, Joan, I'm going to let you do that. Um, Jake, you're eating what? Calamari. Calamari. Is it good? Jamie, Kate, you've stuffed your face with? Um, cheese sticks. Jilly Beth, who we've lost. She's playing something, and she just ate about four plates of macaroni and cheese. And this is just the starter. We've still got more stuff coming. Oh, my gosh. We've lost our mind. Well, this is when the Jays take over the beach for a walk. There's Joel, Julie. And uh, every year we come down here, Joel encourages us for this power walk. Yeah, he says. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, record now because when we get through, they will have beat me into the sand. And if you think my hike's up the mountains or something, oh, these are nothing. <laughs> this is a workout. Early morning before 8 o'clock down at the beach. Oh, let me show you this. We're walking south of Ocean Grove. So this, going in this direction, we're going down toward Butler and then further than that is Crescent. We will not be going that far. Joel would go if he didn't think he would kill me. <laughs> now, here's the interesting thing. Once you get past our campground, the architecture on the beach changes considerably. Uh, nothing above two stories is built, and it really, it really pretties up the beach a lot. You'll notice all the sand dunes are not only natural, but they're highly protected. And you get out here in one of these 8 a.m. walks in the morning or riding the bike, and it's just beautiful. Folks down here are getting their sunset pictures. Just look at that sunrise. Oh. Love mornings at the beach. A 
Well, we made it. They didn't kill me. <laughs> Joel pushed us hard. Julie survived. I'm a little damper than when we left. And we are going to do fun in town stuff today. I think we're due a break from the beach. I see water and coffee in my future. There's pretty ebb tide in the pool this morning. The whole crew, all the Jays, all the Jays. We decided we'd come back downtown. It's a lot busier today, even in the middle of the week. Pretty, pretty day. And we're gonna kind of stretch our legs out just a wee bit more today. There's the bunch, and I mean bunch. And we may even get to go to A1A Ale House today. Looks like they've opened. Hoo-hoo, some kind of excited. We just wondered if you could find a refrigerator magnet somewhere in St. Augustine. We're not quite sure where we can find them, but we're going to be very diligent in our efforts today and um, see if we can find some. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Hey, Jake, you and your sisters better be nice today. You know why? Uh, that place, I think. And the gentleman up there doesn't look too friendly. <laughs> it's a really interesting what's going on down here. Joan and I were here two weeks ago and half the places were closed. Most of all the restaurants have opened up. Really, it's, this is a, a Tuesday and um, not what you would typically find in St. Augustine, but it's substantially increased in two weeks in traffic. A lot of folks here. Most of the restaurants have opened up. That's new. It's a uh, it's big time different. Wow. It's hot and sticky too today. Whee! Oh wow, I wish you could smell this. This is Savannah Sweets in St. Augustine. Yeah, they got the the fan at the door. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the pralines. <laughs> No, that's my favorite right there. I love that. And uh, they've even have some cat pullers. Yes, those are cat pullers. Oh, no, no, those are caramel apples. What's your favorite, Jake? Um, probably they, the Big Rice Krispie Treats. Big Rice Krispie Treats. Are they brace friendly? <laughs> Jake just got a Visalign's. Yes, he's sensitive about it. What's your favorite, Joni? The, uh, candy apple cat pullers. Mmm. Did you see the pralines? Oh my goodness. And here's fudge land. Look at the fudge. Now this just isn't regular fudge. Raspberry cheesecake fudge. Cookie dough. Birthday cake. Oh my gosh. That's got to be orange. Um, Dreamsicle. I bet. Is it really? Dreamsicle fudge. Oh, that's right up your alley. There you go. We're going to stop by here on the way back. Yeah, it's Okay. We're, we'll do that as we head back because I'm afraid everything will melt. Look at the fudge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What have you got there, Jamie Kate? Candy sushi. Candy sushi. <laughs> Jilly Beth, what do you have? You have some cotton candy? Is that yummy? Yeah. Jimmy Kate found sugar like she needs it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my lord. Spastic children sugar. <laughs> well, we haven't recovered a hundred percent. There's still spots, still closed, but uh, like that one, they've got the COVID notice on the door. Thank you for understanding. But uh, 
that's maybe less than, I don't know, 10, 15 percent of the places down here. It's still pretty much open. There we go. Look at this. Still lots of folks. All right, I think we're taking a pretzel break. All right, what do we have? Cinnamon, vanilla, with thin soft pretzel, buggy bites. This sounds good. And a touch of caramel. There you go. Can't beat that. Oh gosh, that's awesome. Oh gosh, that's awesome. Wow, these are yummy pretzels. Pretzel with a hot dog. One of the things so interesting is seeing all these old buildings, and I mean these things are old, 1700s, older, 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 with all the coquina. You know, they can't get coquina anymore because of what it does to the environment. But you can look at these old, old, old places. That goes back into a, a garden, private garden back there. And then you have a mix of modern and restored. Casa Avero, a Greek Orthodox shrine built in 1749 and then it's been restored. It's a large Greek, uh, very large Greek population here during the early 1700s. Just the pretty stuff of St. Augustine. And then look up here, look at this, uh, look at this building here with all the coquina. So this was a Spanish bakery. Now it's fudge <laughs> but again you see a mixture of you know all the coquina that's here well we brought the whole crew yes a1a finally open <laughs> look at look at jilly beth down there fighting that macaroni and cheese but is she is something else and really the meals are good joan got her some shrimp i've got me a seafood cob salad josh of course is doing the wing thing if you come to A1AL House, let me show you the treat of coming here. This is perfect in the evenings, and uh, it is just absolutely incredible. Yes, you can eat out here. Look at this. With all the beautiful ironwork and all the things that's going on out here in these views. Yeah, I know there's a little traffic, but uh, that's okay. You got the beautiful park that's over there that's just absolutely amazing. And then as you go down here, you can see the Lion Bridge and the marina, and you can see all the boats that are parked out here. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of people. It's great if it's a little bit later in the day when the wind has settled and it's a little cooler, but they've got tons and tons and tons of seating. And you can see the, the bay, but isn't that a beautiful view? Just look at that. We were going to do this, but we had a big crowd of 10 and just wasn't going to be as comfortable. And if you look right over there, you can see the horse and carriage and of course the trolleys that are up there. But this is a fun, fun, fun town to come to. We love coming here. Well, when the J. Neals come to Florida and visit, we get sweet rosy. Yes, we do. We get sweet rosy. <laughs> what kind of bulldog? She's a English. she's a classic English bulldog and a proud, handsome one, isn't she? Yes, she is. She is the cutest thing. <laughs> and here you go. In her chair. That is her chair. Isn't that something? She gets her own beach chair and she loves it. Sweet rosy. Sweet girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. So this is what it looks like, huh? Oh, smell a vision. Here, let me get here down the end so you can smell it. Doesn't it smell good? Oh my gosh. So the crew's working overtime for breakfast. Yummy, 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 yummy. It is June. 21st, the beach, St. Augustine. This is unbelievable. I 
I have never seen anything like this before in my life. Unbelievable. All right, there's the killers on the beach. <laughs> that is a bunch right there, let me tell you. Wait till I show you some of the games these guys are involved in. Bocce ball, all kinds of stuff. They are just an absolute hoot to watch. <laughs> oh man, we have so much fun at the beach. Bocce ball, this stuff here, let me tell you, this is serious, serious gamesmanship here, I want to tell you. It's not quite a full contact sport, but these are serious <laughs> players. And these two here, they're about as notorious as they can get. Dangerous stuff here. Too bad. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, that was really bad. <laughs> Too much fun. All right, we have come to feed the turtles. If you look over here on the other side of the pool in the restaurant, we can feed the turtles. Here you go, Jimmy Kate. Give her some too. Give her a little bit. There's plenty for everybody. We'll get some more in a minute. Okay, here's the turtles. They're all waiting down there. See them? Oh my goodness. Look at all those turtles. Look over here. Throw some over here. And there they are big. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. Did you feed him some, Jamie? Jilly? How does it end up in her shoes? Are you feeding the turtles? Say, you feeding the turtles? Yeah. Yeah, is that fun? <laughs> was that fun? Oh, that one fun. Jamie, was, Jilly, was that fun? All right, that's it. Completely gone. Pops ran out of quarters. <laughs> well, there goes the first of the Jays back home. You're gonna miss them. You gonna miss them, Joan? Oh, I'm gonna miss them so much. It's such a good week. <laughs> good week. So Joel's heading back, and we hate to see him go. We had so much fun. See you, buddy. Drive safe. Well, there's crew number two getting ready to head out. We have had some kind of week. All the Jays and even little Rosie Dog heading out. And they're rolling. Oh, I hate to see them go, but boy, did we have so much fun, I'm telling you. What a great place to come down here with families. Just awesome. Just awesome. So that bunch there is leaving here and then headed up to the Smoky Mountain National Park and staying at Deep Creek. Here, I'll put a video up for that so you can see where we're at. It is a fun, fun place to go. So they're going from high 80s and low 90s at the beach to 75 in the mountains of North Carolina. Oh, man, do we love RV life.